Now, your weather alert forecast. Good morning, everyone. I'm 3 News Now. Meet Rutledge just Mark Stitz. We'll continue to see scattered thunderstorms not only through the rest of the morning, but really through the rest of the day. And as we go into the early part of the afternoon, we're concerned that some of these could actually reach severe levels. Biggest concern with any severe storm will be large hail and damaging winds, but an isolated tornado or two cannot be ruled out during that time frame across the region. As we go into the evening, again, scattered thunderstorms still out there, some of them still severe more than likely, but everything is of rain coming down at 7 o'clock this evening. But as we go towards 10 o'clock tonight, areas of northeast Nebraska have switched into snow as strong winds blow in some colder air very quickly. And I think here in Omaha, we may not see that switch over to snow until closer to midnight. And it's going to be very short lived, maybe an hour or two across the I-80 corridor before it completely ends. And we're dry by your Friday morning, but much colder and windy to start the day. Today also going to be warmer highs near 64 as little scattered storms move through the region. Overnight tonight again strong winds pick up gusting around 45 miles per hour to blow in that colder air and change the rain into snow briefly. And again if you're south of I-80 probably not going to see any snow at all but temperatures down to 19 to start the day. Along the I-80 corridor little to no accumulation expected but up towards Columbus to Cayman and points north into northeast Nebraska one to three inches of snow will be possible for you guys. Now again dry Friday morning but very cold windy as well. Well to start the day, but those winds will lighten up throughout our Friday. Highs only near 30, but will come with a lot of sunshine. Saturday, we're back to 40, and then we continue to warm up in early next week. Now, Sunday and Monday can't rule out a couple isolated rain showers, but right now, Tuesday looks to bring the best chance of rain early next week as we push back into the upper 50s.